Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Julius D. Berry at Majestic Studios, and today I have another uh, quick Luma Fusion hack uh, that I think will benefit everyone and help you out quite a bit. I'm going to jump right into it. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, but all of you know that we are not allowed to um, edit our clips um, multiple clips at one time. We are able to use the multi-select tool. This is this little square with a checkbox in it. We can select it and then select multiple clips and move those clips around on the timeline as we see fit. Uh, but if you want to go into a clip's properties, um, like specifically like this, double clicking on a clip, and then being able to go into the properties and edit the um, uh, the timing of it, the um, color and effects, the audio in the clip, or also like the cropping and the position of the clip on the screen. You can't edit the properties for more than one clip at a time. You have to do it per clip. So anyway, um, this hack will help. In that regard, um, I was working on a video last week and I was cutting out pieces of a part that I wanted to do for a picture in picture, as you can see here. Um, now, you see myself on the screen twice because this is um, after. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out so you can't see it. So now you see this top um, clip here this left top left corner with me in it that I was trying to use for a picture in picture while I was doing a tutorial and I had these clips put on the screen in the places that I wanted the clip to appear and um but as I was editing the video I did not put the clips in the position on the screen that I wanted them to be placed for the final video so of course I made the picture in picture and I was just like, uh, well, I'll just do it later. But after I finished, I realized that you're telling me I have to go into each one of these clips. I'm going to press on this first one here. And I would have to go in and now I have a certain uh, preset that I use for my picture in picture. Um, so let's just say it was the small left picture in picture. I, I think that's a different one, but let's just say it was that one. And it automatically places it where I like my picture in picture to be. Um, I would have to go into each one of these clips and do that on this um, one, two, three, four, this fourth timeline right here with all of these clips. I would have had to go into each one of them individually and change their position on the screen. And I just was like, that sucks. I don't want to have to do that. I really wish they would make it where we could select multiple clips of similar or whatever, even if they're not similar. And if we want to make the same properties to them, whether it be cropping, color correcting, or whatever, we should be able to select all those clips at once and make those corrections. If there is a way to do that, I don't know how to do it, and I've not seen it um, listed on anything, but I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, what I did to remedy that was really cool. So what I did was I made every single time uh, track on the timeline invisible so you see I'm sitting here pushing this eyeball button so you on this left side in the um, in the properties window on the left side where your audio and the lock track um, line I mean uh, part is and I took every last one of the tracks and I made them invisible all right and then I even muted all the audio tracks the only thing I wanted here available in this instance that I'm doing was the one track that I want to edit. So I took this one track and made it basically like it was one video with only that track in it because everything else is invisible and everything else is muted. So I took this one track and then I exported it like its own movie. So I went to the export and then I went to movie where I always store it in photos and then I selected the properties to make it as high quality, you know, just like I was exporting a real movie. Um, it's not going to let me select the, the highest qualities right now because I don't have a, um, 
a lot of space on this um, iPad right now because I have some audio files on here from a recording and so it's taking up a lot of space but you would want to make it you know whatever the normal output you are you have or maybe you maybe if you even want to go a little higher just in case you have to stretch the video out um you'll still have a good good nice and clear resolution you can select whatever you like but i went ahead and exported it i've done it already so you don't have to see it you don't have to watch or wait through that so i'm going to go to my photos and i'm going to show you the exported movie now here's the exported movie and you see, I'm going to scroll through. And as I approach the part where that little clip is, boom, it pops up on the screen. And then it leaves the screen when it's not supposed to be there. So it's like a movie of just that one track. All right. So what I did was I took that movie and I inserted it here on this top line, this very top track. All right. And what I did in that one track was this location. This was the original location of the file, if you remember from before I exported it. And then I just took it and I moved it down here to this space. I made it the size that I wanted. Um, I don't remember if I used cropping or whatever, but you can apply whatever effects that you're wanting to it because now you've taken those multiple clips. You have put them in one clip and now any adjustments that you make to that one clip is applied to all of the technically to all of the clips that you uh, included in the movie so now I was able to take this clip on the top timeline the top track of the timeline and place it in the bottom left corner and now I make that one visible well, like you said you can see it already make it visible and then I delete the one that we used that we were trying to export before all right now I can make everything else visible I'll mute my tracks that were muted my audio tracks that were muted and now when I go through my movie when I approach that part here it comes when I approach that part you can see see my picture and pictures there all in the place that it's supposed to be. Watch. Boom. Down there in the bottom left corner. Every last one. And I didn't have to edit them one at a time. Because I made one large clip. And put them all in there like that. So. Um, and now when you export your movie. It'll be just like they allowed you to edit all those little small clips at one time. Hey. And real quick. Um, I wanted to add this. Um, just in case anyone has issues with this at the end of their video. It took me a second to video out figure this out the first time I did it but um, when you import the um, the isolated video uh, the video that you um, combine all the clips in once you insert it or bring it into uh, back into the actual video you may have some issues with the uh, transparency or uh, the background as far as uh, far as the video is concerned, uh, being able to um, get it looking clean in the video where you are inserting it. And you can use a combination of uh, cropping it to cut out the edges um, if you need to cut out dark edges or whatever colors are surrounding the border of the actual video or the actual clip that you're inserting. Uh, but another thing that you can try and this is what I found to help the most. If you double click, double click the clip that you have inserted and go to the colors and effects tab down here at the bottom uh, where you have the timing, the uh, size and position. Um, you also the speed of the clip, the uh, stabilization that they've added in the most recent update, I believe, the audio tab, and then right here, this last one that says color and effects. If you go to the last, um, the next to last option here at the top right corner, um, it's the last option next to the uh, preset tab, the star tab, the one that looks like the keyhole. Um, that is your uh, keys as far as um, being able to key out certain colors. And the one that I found to work the best for me with the backgrounds or um, the things that I've used in my video is the dark luma key. So if you click the dark luma key and apply that effect to the clip, 
And then uh, underneath the dark lumen key settings, you push this little uh, greater than sign and um, greater than or less than, I can't remember. Um, I think it's greater than sign. Uh, but once you push it, it opens the properties for the dark lumen key um, key function. And if you drop your luma range on this top arrow, this one right here, if you drop it all the way down to zero, that's what I've found um, has helped me the most. But to get anything extra off outside of the uh, video clip that you're trying to insert. So you could play with the settings, um, but I just play with the settings to get it to what works best for you. But I just wanted to make sure I showed that. Um, didn't want to leave you hanging. So, um, yep, hope that helped. Hope that helps with um, making the clips easier to insert and apply into your videos. So, this is just, like I said, a LumaFusion hack. Um, I am in no way trying to, um, well, never mind. I'm not even going to say that. I am just trying to find ways. I love LumaFusion. I love it a lot. Um, my friend is really trying to convince me to go with, um, to start editing in uh, Premiere Pro. And I will learn that one day, but I'm really enjoying the um, easy access and the accessibility to LumaFusion working right from my iPad, it's its wonderful. But I just try to find ways to help use the tools that they've given us to help me um, accomplish the things I want to accomplish in my videos. So I hope this helped you guys. Please like and subscribe. Check out my other LumaFusion video, uh, LumaFusion hack video that teaches you how to um, do multicam editing the easy way in um, using LumaFusion. Um, there's an update coming out from them soon uh, that will include it. Uh, but it's not out yet, and I found a really cool way to do it, and it's very easy. So I will put a link to that um, in the top uh, right corner, and you guys can check out that video too. It's helped a lot of people. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching Majestic, Studi Majestic Studios. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment on my videos. We appreciate, appreciate the feedback, and uh, it allows us to – Keep making videos like this. Take care. Have a great day.